Hey everyone, it's Paper Crafting Mama and I am back with another paper crafting tutorial. Although I may be a little late to the game as March is halfway over, I still want to share with you four paper crafting projects this month. So you'll get two this week and two by next week. This month's theme happens to be all about birthdays. Why you may ask? Well March is actually my birthday month. Today's project is actually going to be a little gift card holder. So you open it up like that, and then there's your gift card. So let's get started. The very first thing that I did is I used my Big Shot to punch out three of the top note designs. So I did it in white, which will actually be our base. I did it in Midnight Muse, which is a dark blue color. And then I did it in a designer series paper. The white one will actually leave as is and just place, put that to the side. With these two, we're actually going to create a top and a bottom. To do that, what I do is I grab my paper cutter. I'm gonna try to get as much of this on camera as possible. So I'll take my designer series paper first and where the little notch is right up here, the little point, I line that up in my paper trimmer. And there we go, there's the bottom half to my gift card holder. What I like to do is I like to place the bottom half on top of my blue so that I know where I need to cut my blue at. So I'll hold that down and then I'll line it up and I will cut. Now to put this together, the first thing I do is I'll flip over my designer paper and I'll add some double sticky tape to it. So I'm going to add it along the bottom here. Like so. And then I'm going to add some to both of the sides. And I'm going to leave the top free of tape so that I am able to get a gift card down inside once it's together. So I'll go ahead now and remove the backing of our red sticky tape. And then I will line it up with our white top note. Now to attach the blue top half, it's actually far less complicated than the bottom half. So I'm going to grab my piercing mat and my paper piercer and I'm going to place the blue on top, lining it up. I'm going to zoom in a little so that you can see where I'm putting this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pierce a hole on the very edge of the blue towards the corner but not quite. You see where there's stitching? I'll do it probably right in front of the stitching. So I'm just going to pierce it. Then I'm going to get a brad. I have a yellow one here. Zoom back out a little bit. And that is how we create something that can open and close like this. 
So all that's left is to decorate it a little. So I'm actually just going to get some plain white cardstock. And I'm going to get some Midnight Muse ink, which matches which matches the top of our gift card holder. And I'm going to get our little saying which says, bring on the cake. And then I have a little party hat that I'll do in the same color. So for our bring on the cake saying, I'm actually just gonna get a regular oval punch. Punch that out. And then I'm going to get a three fourths inch circle punch to punch out my little party hat. And then I'm going to take some of the summer star fruit cardstock from Stampin' Up, which is kind of like a dark yellow color. And I'm going to take the seven eight scallop punch. Punch out one of those. Oops. And I'm going to take the scallop oval punch and punch out one of those. I'll flip my saying and my party hat over and then I'll grab some dimensionals. I'll add one to the back of my party hat and a couple to the back of my saying. and place them on the scallops. There we go. And then all I have left to do is take some adhesive so that I can attach them to the front of my gift card holder. And there you have it, a really fun gift card holder. What I really like about this design for a gift card holder is that it's gender friendly. So I hope you've enjoyed this paper crafting tutorial. Don't forget to come back later this week for yet another All About Birthdays paper craft. Thanks for watching. Bye.